Hey, what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how you can optimize your game loop for better FPS and performance while you're playing your games. Make sure to watch this video till the end, I hope this video helps you out. Also, do leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, considering the fact that you might already have game loop installed on your computer, first things first is to open it up and check for any pending updates that may be available for you guys. For that, click on these three buttons on top and then click on update check. This will tell you that if you are already running the latest version or not. Since updating it will fix a lot of bugs and FPS problems, so make sure to do it already. If it is already up to date, follow the next step. I want to introduce you guys to this video sponsor, ExpressVPN. A VPN is an essential software for your system, even for your daily browsing. It helps you mask your IP with a virtual IP to maintain your privacy and safety. That is why I would recommend using ExpressVPN. It lets you connect to a virtual server in single click and you can have a safer, hassle-free browsing experience. Using ExpressVPN, you can watch regional specific Netflix shows, have access to GeForce Now cloud gaming services and much more. ExpressVPN has tons of service to choose from and it keeps your browsing data encrypted securely. Getting ExpressVPN is really simple. Just click the link in the description below and get yourself a subscription at a slash price curated only for you. Thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video and making this possible. Let's move ahead. Step number two is the best game loop settings that you can apply for your application. And for that, again, you have to go into the three dots and then go into the settings section. Over here, you have to uncheck auto run at startup. You always want to run this application whenever you want it. And then uncheck hide advanced watermark as well. And only click on the best fixed window ratio. Then you have to go into the engine settings and always make sure to use DirectX Plus. But if you're not using a graphics card, I would recommend you guys to check between OpenGL Plus and DirectX, whichever gives you the best output. Also, make sure to enable all four of these options. And then for anti-aliasing, make sure to turn this thing off. Memory, make it to the maximum. And then for the processor, select the maximum number of processors that are available on your computer. Then for resolution, lowering down the resolution will actually help you get better FPS. So make sure to play somewhere between 1280 by 720 or 1366 by 768. Then for the screen GPI, it doesn't really matter what you pick. I personally prefer 400. Then here is your playback device. It has to be your speakers and recording device has to be your microphone. And then for the audio channel, make sure to select wave out. Then go over to the model section you can customize your model or use the common model basically it doesn't really matter which model you are using so you have to come all the way down to game and now here is the important part you have to set this for all of the games currently i only have call of duty mobile installed in my game loop so for that lowering down your game definition or resolution will help you get better fps and smoother gameplay performance the higher you make it the more resources your computer is gonna need so set this thing to default definition and for the graphics quality i would recommend you guys to choose somewhere between balanced or smooth whichever works best for you guys now, I would personally prefer myself to play at 2K at HD, so I would select that. Then, simply click on save, and now let's move to the third step. Step number three is you have to locate the game loop shortcut on your desktop, and then simply right click, and then go to open file location. Once you are here, you have to select the app market.exe, right click on it, and then go to show more options, then go over to the properties section. In here, go over to the compatibility tab and then select disable full screen optimization. Then simply click on apply and press OK. Now select the TX game assistant right behind the app market then go over to the UI section. Over here you will find android emulator.exe. You have to simply right click then go to show more options or simply press properties and then go into the compatibility section and then once again disable full screen optimization for this one as well. Simply click on apply and then close it. Now go over to the shader cache over here and then select all and simply shift delete it to clean the shader cache. You don't need it. 
so you can simply continue and delete all of the shader cache. Next step is system configuration. And for this, you have to literally search for system configuration on your computer. And then this small window will pop right in front of you. Go over to the boot section, click on advanced options and select the number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available on your computer. This will help your PC to minimize your booting time as well as increase the PC's performance in the long run. Simply click on OK and then go over to the services section and make sure to disable the Microsoft Edge update service. Also make sure to disable the Google update service on your computer. Then head over to the startup section and then open task manager. In here, you have to make sure to disable all of the unwanted startup applications that you do not really need when your computer boots up. It's gonna save you a lot of memory while you're playing the game. So make sure to know what you're doing. For an example, if you play Valorant, do not disable the Vanguard train notification, but feel free to disable the unwanted things that you do not really need right after your computer starts. Next step is in the settings panel. For that, go over and search for settings. Then over here, search for graphics and go over to the graphics settings. Then click on change default graphics settings and make sure to enable both of these options. Head over to the graphics panel and then click on browse. Now, what you need to do is go over to the install location of your game loop. If you do not know it, you can simply go back to the file location of game loop and then copy the exact thing over here. Then go over to the settings section, back to the browse button and then simply paste this over here. Scroll down until you find the app market.exe, click add and then go to options and select high performance over here. Click on browse once again and then go back to the UI folder and then select Android emulator.exe, click on add and then go to options and then select high performance for the same. Once you have done this, you have to search for game mode and then click on turn on game mode and make sure that game mode is enabled. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background. Next step is creating a restore point. And this is really simple. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Then select your local disk C over here or any drive which says system. Then simply click on create and name it something that you will remember. Or simply type the thing that you want it to be remembered by. For an example, game loop. Simply click on create and let it do its job. It might take a little bit of time, but it will ensure your system's safety. If anything happens to your computer, you can always restore back to the default settings without losing data. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Now you have to download the game loop optimization pack from the link in the description below. You have to install and open it up and then you will find in the CPU priority, RAM optimization, Windows optimization, as well as ultimate power plan or TXT. Let's start up with the power plan file. You have to open it up and you will find this string over here. Simply control C to copy it and then open up CMD and run this as administrator. Once this window opens up, you have to paste the string over here and press enter. I've already done it for myself, but you have to do it on your PC and make sure to do it on administrative mode. If not, it will fail to do so. Now you have to head over to the control panel of your windows and then on the top right section, search for power options. Then go over to the power option settings and make sure to select ultimate performance. Note that if you are using a laptop, I would recommend you guys to use the balance recommended on it because ultimate performance may increase the heating issues and decrease the battery life of your laptop. Now open up the first folder in the optimization pack and that will lead you to the CPU priority. You have to run both of these registry files. You can simply double click to run them and it will help you to optimize your CPU's power efficiency as well as thread priority. Then you have to select the processor that you are using. If you don't know about it, you can simply search for system information on your PC and make a note of your processor that is an AMD processor as well as the installed physical memory that is 16 GB for me. So I have to use the AMD processor 
so it will be in the AMD CPU priority folder, you have to run this registry file. However, if you're using an Intel CPU, you have to run this registry file. Then come back to the second folder that is the RAM optimization. And in this folder, you have to select the RAM that you're using. Once again, as I have said, 16 GB is the RAM that I'm using. You have to take a note for yourself in the system information panel. Now, over here in the third folder, you'll find Windows optimization. In that, you'll find a clean temporary files.batch file. This batch file will only help you to remove the temporary files or unwanted files on your computer that puts load on your RAM. For that, you have to right click and run this as administrator. Once you run this, it will ask you a simple pop up to press any key to continue. You can simply press any key and it will start deleting all of the unnecessary necessary information and temporary files on your computer and once it is done you will feel your windows is pretty smooth now second thing is the unpark cpu.exe it is an application you need to double click to open it up so here is how this application works basically your processor has a tendency to park the cores that it is not using and parking of the core means that they are not going to perform so let's say your computer has eight cores and your game is not utilizing all of the eight cores your pc basically put the last four cores in hibernation that means it is not going to be utilized and that leads to game fps loss stutters and a lot more stuff so for that you have to slide this core parking index all the way to 100 percent and then simply click on apply then click on ok and you can see the cores are now enabled and all of the cores will be utilized no matter what so even if your game are using just four cores the rest four cores will be used in making your pc's performance better so in that way you will be getting a lot more performance than earlier so once you have done that you can simply minimize it and minimize this application to the system tray now once you're done with the optimization pack you can feel free to close it and drop into your game and let me know about your experience so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below since we're really close to 110,000 subscribers i seriously believe in you guys we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching Barafox and peace out